اليوم انا مع تيبو تيبو من ام بي ان ديف اليوم بنسولف عن ساعه اللي هي ال ام 101 بس قبل لا نسولف عن ال ام 101 راح نسولف شوي عن ام بي ان ديف نعطيكم فكره عامه عن ام بي ان ديف تيبو tell me about the history of ام بي ان ديف just a very short nice history tell me a story I think the most interesting part is the purpose behind the MBNF. Why was MBNF created? Mm -hmm. Max Busser, so the founder, used to work during 14 years, 14 years. in the watch industry. And in 2005, he arrived at some point where he said, I'm not happy anymore with what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. um, everyone is speaking about the art of watchmaking, but if I look what's on the market, all the watches look the same. Yes. So maybe it's not hard anymore. There's no soul in the There industry no anymore. There is no soul anymore. That's, That's so something that uh, convinced him to join the industry when he was younger. And he, after 14 years, he did not find that anymore in 2005. Mm -hmm. So he decided to quit his CEO position of Ari Winston timepieces mm -hmm. and started from scratch again. And then we have starts for? Maximilian Busser, so the name of the, the initials of the founder, and friends, because the idea is, I don't want to do the brand by myself. I want to gather around me amazing people, the best of the best, doing um, the best, uh, um, uh, the best suppliers of the watch industry, and I want them to work with me to create something even better. So instead of just using his expertise, he used everyone's expertise to elevate the product at the end. This is why it's called Max Busser and, and, and friends. friends. And his friends are names that are amazing. I've, I've heard so many really impressive names that have put their efforts and their expertise in an MBNF watch, especially the perpetual calendar. The speech, uh, the, um, I mean, uh, Stephen McDowell, of oh course. Oh my God, his movement is just a genius. And, and the strategy behind the polishing is by Vutilainen. The I mean, the Vutilainen helped us a lot by designing the, the, how, the, the, the be how the watch should be polished and the finishing of the case to really like uh, pay tribute to the watchmakers of the 19th century that were really like walking on the hand finishing of the pieces and I think this one is the best example of um, LM101 of, the, of this type of finishing. Okay, we'll be introducing so, so that. We, so we're talking about MBNDF. Oh, one second, let me just post this. So when we're talking about the brand, it was established when? 2005. 2005. Yes. And it's been striving since 2005 into making high-end watch that are that are independent and that are with soul, I would say. Yes. Let me just translate this to everyone. Yeah. Fair. Now, today we're going to talk about a hour that was created in 2005 called MBN Def. MBN Def turns into the name of the founder, Max Buzer, or F, turns into friends. So when we look at it, it's written on the hour MBN Def. Uh, Max uh, Million كان يشتغل, كان يشتغل uh, uh, CEO هاري وينستون وقرر أن السوق يخلي من الساعات ذات الروح وصارت الساعات في السوق كلها متشابهة فلما نسولف عن الأرقام العربية الهبة ما ترغم عربية نسولف عن ساعات الزرق اللي كل شركة سوت لها ساعة ستيل زرقة ماكس مليون كان ماخذ طريق بروحه واستخدم طبعا خبرات من اسامي كبيره مثل ماكدونالد مثل مثل فوتلاينن في مساعدته في صنع الساعات واكبر دليل الساعه اللي قدامنا اللي هي الالم ليجسي ماشين هو ترك الارث الليجسي هو الارث ترك الارث في في ماكينه او ماشين وعندنا ناس مثل الفوتلاينن كاري فوتلاينن ساعده في رسم كيف تشطيب الساعة أو تشطيب مكينة الساعة اللي راح نسولف عنها بشوي فالحين احنا بما أننا خلصنا في تعريف بداية MBNDF خلنا نسولف عن الساعة اللي قدامنا Thibault, can you talk a little bit more about the LM101 that is in front of us? The LM101 was um, the created so it started the, the, with, the, with the LM1 the concept of the legacy machines mm -hmm. Mark started with horological machines that were crazy 3D sculptures. Yes. And at some so point... this is why the balance wheel is not like the conventional watch, which is at the back of the watch. That's exactly the concept of the legacy mm -hmm. machine. Max loves kinetic art. He loves to see the moving parts of a movement. Right. So what he did with this legacy machine range is like taking out the balance wheel that is the most beautiful part of... Um, and um, making the it the centerpiece. In the centerpiece. Yes. So you have... At the, in the front light, I mean, really on the spot, the balance wheel. And the balance wheel, which is something interesting if we want to go a little bit more technical, 
the balance wheel is beating at the rate of 2.5 hertz. So it's slow is, enough to be beautiful. That's the point. But, but fast to enough see, to be accurate. That's the point. You Amazing. need to balance between accuracy and, um, and, beauty. and beauty. Because if you look at that, you will see the spring being like um, um, released and, 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 and come back. And if we were going to the 3 or 4 hertz, which is now becoming the standard within the industry, we won't see that. It's too fast. It's too fast. Even you at 8 hertz, it's too fast. I mean, the 4 to 5 hertz, which is like becoming now the standard, it's too fast, you won't see the spring coming And at 2.5, can, can we dare say it's, a, it's like a pocket watch movement? You it's, can still listen to the watch. That's the traditional way. The tic-tac is the, much better with the 2.5 With the 2.5 hertz. But there is a consequence of that. Maybe the, um, um, everyone doesn't know this, but you need more skilled watchmaker to be able to have a 2.5 hertz movement. How come, Thibault? Tell me. Because the slowest the rate is, the more any effect on the um, bad regulation of the movement, the effect at the end of the day will be much higher. So the, the error at the end of the day will be higher. So, so if you have a 5 hertz movement, it's much easier to regulate. So when you have a 2.5, which used to be the traditional way of making watch... Uh, now it's watches, a lot more harder to regulate. Now it's hard. You need to find watchmakers that are able to, uh, to, to, to regulate a watch with 2.5 hertz. And that's not easy to find on the market. Let me just translate all of this. Hag Max and Naisawi Sa'a قرر انه يخلي آه يخليها 3 دي هورولوجيكال آه ماشين يعني هو يحب الشغلات انه يشوفها آه يعني مثل ما يقول كينيتيك انرجي وهو وايد يحب القوه الحركيه فاحلى جزء من الساعه تشوفه يتحرك هو شغلتين البالانس ويل وهي عجله الاتزان وعندك الاسكيبمنت اللي قاعد تشوفونه خلف البالانس ويل فالاسكيبمنت والبالانس ويل هذيلا آه احلى قطعتين عند ماكس فبدال لا يخشهم بظهر الساعه مثل باقي الساعات حطهم سنتر بيس او قطعه عرض موجوده في او جوهر الساعه هو البالانس ويل مثل ما تشوفون والبالانس ويل يتحرك على 2.5 هرتز من معناته انه في كل ثانيه عندك طقتين ونص عبره عبره عقرب الثواني طقتين ونص عشان يعبر الثانيه بهالطريقه يسمح للبالانس ويل او عجله اتزان ان تكون بطيئه ويعطي تاثير جمالي اكثر من ما هو يكون على 5 او 4 هرتز مثل الساعات المعتاده uh, please continue the bot. Yes, of course. So we discussed about the front part of the watch. So you have the balance wheel, you have the hand curl that you see here. The dials are slightly above what we call the base plate. If you look at this base plate, this yes. base plate is with the Sunray finish and the legacy machine name, which is hand driven on um, the, 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 this base plate. What is also beautiful to see on um, this watch is not only the front part, but the back part. If I may turn it now. Please. Look at this beauty. That's what we called tribute to the 19th century watchmakers. Let me just get, in, get this into uh, focus. Just give me a second. Okay. What is the first thing you see on this movement? For me, I see the name. Yeah. I see. Yes. Yeah. I see the polish. Yes. I see the rubies. Yes. I see the wolf uh, gears. Mm -hmm. I see every kind of polishing that you would see in a very high-end watch. Yes, the Geneva stripes. The Geneva so. stripes, uh, the anglage, mm -hmm. the uh, perlage, uh, chatons, everything that I see on a, on a on a very high-end watch. But what is the most interesting? will be the lines. It's I like the round, bridges. Yes. Round bridges. Yes. Why is that interesting? Because if you look for a serial production watch, you will never have these round shapes. No. Because you need to make them by machine. Yeah. And a machine will not be able to do these round shapes. So here we want to highlight the skill of our watchmakers and of the people decorating the movement. So that's why we are using this round shapes that used to be the standard in the 19th century but are not there anymore because um, most of the brands are now going serial productions so by doing that that's really our way to pay tribute to these uh, fantastic watchmakers that used to do these outward angles um, uh, of the beaver and uh, walking the decorations with their hands and not with machines it's amazing فاللي قاعد يقوله تيبوت هني انه 
استخدموا جميع انواع البولشينجز اللي احنا نعرفهم التشطيبات انا تكلمت عن التشطيبات اللي انتم حابين تشوفونها اللي هي الانجلاج والبيرلاج والشاتونز وطبعا الولف جيرز هذول كلهم موجودين في اي ساعه من ساعات ام بي ان اف والشغله الثانيه اللي استخدموها هو التطعجات اللي موجوده في الجسور فيقول انه في البرودكشن واتشز اللي انتم تشوفونها او ساعات خلينا نقول اللي فيها برودكشن ما يقدرون يسوون هال هال هالجسور لان تاخذ وقت طويل وتاخذ وتتصنع يدويا على اجهزه باستخدام الواتش ميكرز فيتفادونها لان تاخذ وقت طويل وتقول طبعا العمال يحاسبون في الساعه ف يطلع سعر الساعه جدا غالي لكن مع ام يندف هذا شيء جزء لا يتجزا من ساعاتهم فاضطروا او مو مضطروا صار من الضروره أن يحطون هالجسور وهال level العالي من التشطيبات please continue so this edition is a special one tell me why is it, it special it has been launched today we are super happy to introduce that for the Bahraini fair so this watch probably this is the first time it's on video it's the first time it's on video it has been launched few hours ago um, and many of the people in fact don't have access to that so you're lucky enough to have um, to, to see it so wow. for the first time MBNF will be working with a new case material what is the case material? It looks like it looks white like gold, titanium, looks titanium, like white gold, it looks like steel, yeah. platinum. It's none of them. What is it? It's palladium. So we're talking about something harder than gold, but harder than still gold. as shiny as gold. Still as shiny as gold. So it's more scratch resistant than gold and platinum, but still cheaper than platinum. It's more expensive than platinum now. How come? Platinum, uh, um, the palladium has become the most expensive metal on earth this summer. So this summer, yes, palladium became more yes, expensive more than expensive platinum. Yes, more expensive than gold and platinum. The first thing you can see in front of you is a new product from NBNDF. The first time you use it, it's the palladium. And this is the first time you can see it on video, so you can see the Bahrain for the weather and the hours, on the way of Project 8. And of course, the first time you can see it on video, we can see it on the other side. The other thing is that palladium is the most expensive metal, and it's the most expensive metal than platinum. آه اللي ندرته وطبعا هو يتحمل الـ الـ السكراتش اكثر من البلاتينوم والذهب الابيض ويتحمل الزلوق اكثر او الخدوش اكثر من البلاتينوم والذهب الابيض ووزنه ما زال ثقيل ويعتبر بس باليديوم از ا ميكس اتس بيور اتس بيور ميتال اتس بيور ميتال معدن نفيس وهذه الساعة حاليا قدامنا. ثيبو tell me about the dials. What are they made from? So the dials are lacquered. It's four layers of um, um, of, of lacquer. So what, the way you will do that, and if you look, mm -hmm. they are not flat. No, so I can need, see. I can see that they they they're, they're uh, concave. Dome shape, yeah, so a dome yes. shape. Yes. Yes. So you need to put the you need to put the the, <coughs> the lacquer, the white lacquer. Then you will put it in the oven, yes. baked it, and then take it out, polish to ensure that the shape is the right one, and then you need to put again lacquer, bake it, so you need to do that four times before to have the perfect white which looks like um, old enamel. And then after that we need to stamp the Roman numerals that are on the stop. So it's a really interesting machine that will do like taking the ink and then after coming on top of that to mark the logo and the Roman numbers. But because you have this dome shape, you need to calculate exactly the length of each letters um, that is in fact longer. The ink part oh. is in fact longer because after you need to curve because it will I be curved. Yeah, yeah. So you need to anticipate in advance what will be the um, how long the numeral will be because it's curved. Yeah, because it's curved. Ah, so it's, which amazing. is a long, long process also for us um, uh, to, to, to define that. And uh, uh, as as ending notes, what would you like to say at the, about, about the LM one zero one? I mean, what I love with the LM one 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 for me is that is the forty millimeter case, the true size which is the of a watch, size, which is like basic free hands plus power reserve. That's all what you need. Hand one movement, 40 millimeters. So it could be a unisex watch. We sell this watch to ladies. We sell this watch to men. We, 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 we can sell this watch. You can make it with the br um, uh, bright colors and have it super funky. You can have it super understated with this chocolate strap, for example. That's really a watch you will enjoy as a daily wear watch. Thank you, Thibault, for this amazing video. I'm pretty, I, I got so much information. I'm pretty sure everyone else got so much information about just the beginnings and uh, the, uh, the legacy behind MBNF. 
we'll be talking about other watches. And uh, again, thank you so much for, for the introduction for the LM101. Thank you for the video.